every artist has a brand and it comes down to image it comes down to the story of who you are and where you're from and what you represent people love that as much as they love the music because it's a part of the experience life's crazy i'm 27 i'm a real life rock star i drive a porsche i put moms in a new whip a new house I'm here with the people I grew up with, you know, about to play the Oracle Arena. Rock and roll is the risk of ridicule. You're on display. They wait for you to fuck up so they can say, I knew it was gonna happen, da 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 You know, so that's in the back of our mind. Don't fuck this up. The only way you don't fuck it up is by working. And I was 13 when I started making beats. And at that time, like, music was, was everything around me. The hyphy movement was bubbling. Keek, Mr. Fab, Son of a Pimp, E-40, Turf Talk. There's been a long history of independent rap music from the Bay. It's always been, we're just gonna outwork everybody and get it ourselves. I figured out how to make a mixtape cover. Bought jewel cases, burnt CDs, put the sticker on the CD, and would slang them. That's very entrepreneurial, you know what I'm saying? No 15-year-old kid is doing that kind of shit. When we was first making stuff, you know what I'm saying? Putting stuff on MySpace, and you would refresh the page and it'd be like 12 plays. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you'll literally like check it, like be hella excited, like, man, like I'm gonna see if they fucking with me. Refresh, 13 plays. I didn't have no booking agent. So it was just me emailing these venues. Sometimes I pretend like I wasn't me. Hi, I represent an artist named G-Eazy. <laughs> The energy might have been there, the spirit, but I didn't really have like the understanding of what is marketing? What is a brand? What's actual business strategy? It's crazy when I see kids at the shows coming dressed in all black with their hair slicked back. My grandfather played a lot of Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash wore all black. He slicked his hair back. Johnny Cash was a badass. As I started learning more about him, I felt like I kind of identified with him, like in his story and what he, what he went through and everything. I just start dressing in all black. I'm not the easiest person to understand, maybe because of like my background and where I come from, and you kind of have to understand that to understand how I could grow up on Mac Dre and the Beatles. You know what I'm saying? And have a mom's like mine, artsy, hippie lady who smokes hella weed and, you know, dated a woman while I was growing up. And my outside world was Pac, was, was E-40. You take a glance at somebody and your subconscious kind of makes a decision on how you view this person. So as an artist, somebody would look at me and say, you know, oh, I would imagine that he'd be like this as an artist, or he'd probably be this good at that, or this bad at that, or he sucks. I've never been critically acclaimed. I've never been nominated for no Grammy. I've never been on no magazine cover. You know what I'm saying? It's almost taboo to say I'm actually good. What I put more weight on is not being critically acclaimed, it's being respected by my OGs. When I talk to E-40 on the phone, if he tells me I'm doing good, I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? Like that means so much more to me than what, what a, a writer in any kind of magazine or like blog would say about me. This weird thing happens when you perform, it's like a time warp. The second you step on stage, you blink and then it's like it's, the show's over. An hour and a half goes by like that. I played over 200 shows this year. A lot of people counting on me. A lot of people look at me like, damn, like, you know, look how far you done came, so. The mentality I've always had is like, if I open a door, then I'm gonna keep it cracked open and bring some people in with it. If I get a platform, I'm gonna share it with the Bay. And I'm gonna try to shed light on our area, the other artists from here, what inspired me, how I came up. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm on MTV talking about some Bay shit.